Hello, Killian here. A while back in 2011, I made a video in Visual Basic 2010 for uh, creating a uh, simple text editor. And I thought with this video, I wanted to revisit the same tutorial, but in C Sharp. So if you want to get started, we go to a new project. This all, of course, is in uh, the Visual Studio Community 2015 version. So we go to uh, Templates Visual C Sharp and we choose Windows Forms application. I'm going to call it YouTube Text Editor, like that. Click OK and it will be created. So we have our form and we can choose a uh, size for it. I'm just going to do 800 by 600. Yeah. Uh, the start position can be in the center screen. And I'm just going to call it FRM main for main. And the title up above will be. This, of course, can be anything you want. OK. Now we go to our toolbox and we choose the where is it the menu strip. I'm going to create a file option, edit, and a text menu. Here we're going to create a new open and a save. Here we can do a undo redo, a cut, copy, and paste. And in the text, we are going to do a uh, font type. And maybe font color. Yeah. So now we are also going to add a component, uh, rich text box component drop it on it and click on the arrow and do doc in parent container. We are going to rename it to RTB editor. So for the first things we are going to do is the uh, edit menu. We can do fairly easy these options like undo redo. So double click on it and it will open the uh, C sharp file. We are just going to do uh, RTB editor dot uh, was it uh, undo? Just call that method. Same for redo. Cut. Fairly easy methods to use. Uh, copy, yeah, copy, and then paste, yeah, paste, paste, like that. So, now we have the uh, edit menu uh, ready. We go over to our file menu, and things will be a little bit harder, but not that hard, and click on the new for that, we just uh, we can just do a, or actually, let's ask the user if he wants to save the file also. So um, just check on if uh, RTB editor dot text is uh, dot length is bigger than zero. So if there are characters in the rigid uh, rich text box component. Uh, if it is not, we do a else and just do RTB editor dot uh, clear. So it will clear all of the text uh, in your uh, in the uh, rich text box editor. It's, it seems a little bit weird if we check. Uh, it's also it's already uh, zero, but yeah, just just do that one. Um, now, if there are characters in our uh, rich text box component, we just do a um, if um, message box. 
message box dot show and um, just do a string text is for the uh, just the text what will be shown in the message box message box um, would you like to save the file now and then do the the caption uh, warning then do um, message box buttons dot okay cancel or let's do the yes or no and then equals dialog result dot yes and you're doing else if the uh, the user clicks on the no button um, if it clicks on the no button we just do uh, the clear again and if the user wants to save the uh, the file then we do a um, a uh, save file dialog and do the uh, dialog dot uh, text or title rather and uh, enter choose a location where you want to see the file now we are going to specify the filter that uh, can be used to create uh, extensions regular text file which will be the txt extension and then not txt I will let you guys copy that you would uh, specify the uh, what will be shown to the user and this is used internally by Windows so now we can do an if the dialog dot show dialog equals to the dialog result of OK so whenever the uh, user presses OK we save the file so we can simply do that by uh, doing a file or, uh, we need to do a using system.io which contains all of the input output uh, DLLs that we can use in .NET and then we can do file dot write all text then we specify our path where the user wanted to save the file we can simply do that by doing dialog dot uh, selected or rather uh, hold on ah, yeah, yeah, uh, dialog dot file name and then we can do our rich text box editor dot text like that so now um, the program will save the file and um, that's it for the new now we can go to open and we are just going to read uh, the, the text in so we can copy this one from our new tool control copy and control paste and here we are going to do open file dialog Oops, yeah. And then choose the file you want to open. The filter remains the same. And then we can do um, if dialog dot show dialog resulted okay, then we instead of doing this we do um, we can simply do rich textbox editor dot load file and then do dialog dot selected uh, file name yeah what you can also do is um, read the, the the contents of the file into a string file and then do file dot read all text and you can do exactly the same dialog dot file name and then the encoding uh, can specify ASCII like that 
and then we just do rtb editor.txt dot text equals the file like that either way you can choose to do this or this I'm just going to leave it at this so we going to delete that one okay that's it for our open tool uh, for and then for the save one we actually only need to copy this one it's exactly the same control paste and it does the same and for our last things we can do uh, the text font type then we can do um, font uh, font dialog and then dialog dot show dialog or rather if the dialog dot show dialog equals dialog result dot uh, ok whenever the, uh, the user presses ok we change the um, the font type that's being used in the rich text box editor to the what the one that the user selected so let's then do rtb editor dot font equals dialog dot font and for the font color one color dialog here if dialog not show dialog dialog result dot ok again we do the rtb editor dot uh, text uh, for color yeah for color equals dialog dot um, yeah color and that should do the coloring now if you go back we can uh, test it by pressing the F5 button And to compile our program uh, now if we do new and if we type some text in it and do new it will ask us to uh, if we want to save the file no so we delete it if we do it again no and uh, I'm just going to do no again um, let's uh, change the font type to something bigger this is a test and if we go to save we can now uh, change it to uh, test and if you, you can see that the regular text file shows up and press save now if we do this and do new and we go to open and we go to our, where we save the file and do open you can see it uh, loads it up again um, if we do a cut and a paste it works also a copy if we go below paste like that font color we can change it to red if we like and I believe that's it for our text editor so I hope you guys uh, found this t uh, video informative if you want to view more videos of me, check out my channel and please leave a like, a comment or subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.